Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, even though I'm down here at 8 o'clock, the guys have uh, been at it for a while. They've got these three pits here cleaned out. You know guys, hold on just one second. Um, and I need to get a male and a female plug to make a longer extension cord to get that pump over here. God bless these guys, they had taken the initiative and were bailing this out by hand. I don't want to. I don't want them to have to to bale this by hand. Besides, this water needs to go onto the rice field, so uh, I've had them stop that there. What we're going to do, you know, I was thinking about this last night. Um, you know, I have a lot of clay soil. You guys just rest for a minute. I have a lot of clay soil up by the garden already, and I. I don't really need to add more clay soil up there, but uh, the lure of the nutrition that's, that's in this mud is uh, pretty strong. I, I, I would like to use it. So what I'm going to have these guys do, uh, because I have to go into town, uh, what I'm going to have I'm going to give them a few projects uh, while I go. One of them is going to be is to take. Um, several wheelbarrow loads of this mud up and uh, put it around in the garden. So uh, I'm going to get them lined out on that and then we'll uh, progress from there. Alright, well the guys pulled all that mud out of there. I'm going to do a little bit of it. Uh, the reason I wanted the mud out of this pit, pit <coughs> I'm going to do a little experiment it's going to be hard to get an exact number, but I have kind of a, a formula that I'm going to use. I'm going to remove this tarp and uh, fill this pit up with water and then measure uh, how many days it takes it all to uh, seep out. And then I'm going to uh, multiply the the cubic footage of this pit uh, up to where that the end of that pit is there so I'm going to get all the cubic footage for this and then I'm going to uh, cut that in half and uh, the water uh, however much water this use this uses however much water is lost in this pit per square foot I'm going to cut it in half for uh, all the rest because uh, if this was all just one pit here up to the up to that right there then uh, the entire pit would be losing as much through that wall down there as this pit right here but this pits only uh, three three and a half feet wide whereas that one would be uh, 50 or so so um, the two sides of this pit uh, will be losing uh, a lot more water uh, per cubic foot than the whole pit would be. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to get a, a wild guess as to how much water it would take to uh, keep a pit this size full of water without a concrete bottom and uh, then kind of figure out where I'm going to go from there. So they've taken that mud out. Watch out, Blackie. I oh, know somebody's a calling me. Now let's go up and look and see where they've put it in the garden here. I instructed them to be sure to put a bunch around the corn and once they had that about an inch deep around the corn then to just pick other rows at their discretion and put it in those so let's see what this looks like here
You know what? That's looking pretty good to me. Except for the plants that are kind of leaning over. I'm of the opinion that this soil out of the bottom of that fish pen is just nothing but goodness. Nothing but goodness for this corn. So, let's see how it do. That's looking good. And they had, looks like they had a little bit left over here that they put around a couple bean plants here. Looks good. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.